the the so the, there's billions going into climate change philanthropy, yeah. and it's very based on metrics. You know, like how many, you know, megatons of right. of of greenhouse gas emissions is this going to lower? You know, it's it's very um, because and, and I can understand why. You know, they they want to make sure the money's well spent. Um, yeah. You need some kind of objective measure of it, yeah. uh, but what gets left left out of those metrics are things like um, the 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 necessity of of healthy migration patterns of wildlife to distribute nutrients and and keep the forest healthy. Like it's really hard to say, okay, well, how many tons of CO two sequestered does that translate into? Yeah. Like you can't actually see it through that lens. Yeah. You can't see the 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 importance of living networks unless you're looking at Earth as a living being. Yes. And and measuring and measuring if you can measure at all, measuring its health by something other than the quantity of yeah. a single substance. It's a completely different mindset. And that that mindset, that holistic mindset that that is not just ecological but cultural too. That holistic mindset um, is is very it's 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 you know kind of cutting edge uh, yeah. and and unfamiliar to traditional philanthropy. But I think that there are um, there is an awakening you know among in 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 philanthropy just like anywhere else like mm -hmm. every institution of our culture is having an awakening from within. And so mm -hmm. I do think that there are philanthropists and funders who are like in like this kind of understanding and, and wanting to put their resources, um, you know, in places that, that like the kind of things that you're doing that mm -hmm. are tapping into a, a holistic, understanding.